joining us, our project is on classifying handwritten text. So what we aim to do is take a single character, it can be an uppercase or lowercase letter or a number. We've gotten data from a really, really big data set, one of the biggest for handwriting uh, recognition. And we're creating a model that will basically predict whatever uh, thing it sees. So if you write a lowercase a, it'll tell you you wrote a lowercase a. And the eventual goal is if we can classify one character, we can classify any number of characters. And eventually we can read entire documents without humans having to type it up. Now you can just take a scan of some like manuscript written in, I don't know, the 1800s, and without typing it up, you'll be able to piece every single character together to get a digital yeah. copy. Prediction is a Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Now, the, the, the thing you need to notice about this is that, you know, because of COVID, we needed to make this virtual interaction. So we had to play around with the brush so that, you know, the model got trained on the massive MNIST data set. Uh, that's the part that was kind of newer. Right? Uh, usually you see these types of things done on the MNIST, MNIST data set, and we did an extended version of that data set. Um, so yeah. Yeah, dude, your project is so cool. How did you think of this? <laughs> I mean, um, there was an article, NC State article that um, like we came across. He was talking about how the use of herbicides, you know, to get rid of like the unwanted vegetation for mm. had been causing a lot of um, like health issues and mm. a lot of like um, I don't know decay in the production. The food production. Mm -hmm. So in order to mitigate this problem, like. The smarter mm -hmm. might be just, you know, to use weed detection instead of like using the chemicals that are harmful for the environment and for the people. Mm, nice man. Nice, nice.